Morning everyone, I'm uh, here in Sussex this morning. I thought I'd just do a quick video because I'm about to walk through the Nep Estate, which is the famous area of land for uh, rewilding uh, down in West Sussex. I'm just here a day early of leading a wildlife holiday across West Sussex, uh, and I thought I'd drop in. Just discovered a little uh, tree platform and there are six of these around Nep. All of them close to public footpaths so they can be used by everyone. It's extremely wet and the, um, the description of the soil in uh, Isabella Tree's book as claggy is uh, never more true than today. It's hard going, but it's worth it. It does feel like a very different world here. The view from the top of the platform is uh, impressive. I like the fact that you've got the old trees on the horizon, one of which has at least uh, a visible nest on it, some corvids, and you've got all this kind of scrub. It's hard to imagine what this must have been like only a couple of decades ago, but if I'm right then they would have been grass fields with nothing in them so uh, yeah a lot has changed here in that time uh, no sign of the big animals of the park yet but they're out there somewhere and here are the, uh, the cattle these are longhorn cattle and um, they're known for being fairly placid as you can see, they're not bothered by me at all. Eating grass, looks like the, the bracken, more off to the, behind me actually. So there's actually quite a few cattle. So as well as the cattle that I've just um, witnessed on the other side of the thicket, uh, there are some red deer. The quality won't be great on this, but these are three red deer stags that really are just wandering around. I can hear the, another herd of longhorns up ahead. Um, but it is quite a nice feeling to kind of just wander through a world where cattle are unfenced effectively, wandering in with red deer. It makes it feel, with the, you know, green woodpeckers in the distance, it makes it feel very, uh, yeah, I, I, very wild. There's no other word to describe it. Here are the red stags. A little closer. I've just come down the footpath. There we go. I thought they'd see me or hear me when I started to talk. Just come round the corner and here they are in the open. Yeah, they're proper looking at me now. Not running, but perhaps their flight distance is not too far. Perhaps they're happy being this far away from me. I'm not going any closer because um, I'm pretty sure this is not passable, let alone a footpath in the first place. I'm going to continue my walk round into the farm next to me and then hopefully up into the rest of the reserve. You see the way the big one struts around. He's so magnificent. He's big as well. This doesn't feel like they're in a deer park. This feels like, this feels like their world, really. I've just stopped for lunch on an old fallen tree in, I think I'm in the northern block of Nep Castle, and uh, Nep Castle Estate, I should say. And the area is uh, much different to the southern block. It's true that this area does look like an actual deer park. Big open spaces, short grass, um, panoramic views. Uh, no deer yet though, but uh, I have already seen in the southern block the fallow deer, the red deer, and the longhorn cattle, which is pretty good. So off on the horizon just here, we have the uh, horses, one herd of horses, and really interesting. 
interestingly, they are with red deer. So there's a group of red deer, about four uh, deer, sat in the middle of the horses all together, which is, again, like it was earlier with the cattle, a lovely thing to see these different animals living together, and not only living together, but choosing to live together. And so this is Nep Castle, which is at the north of the site, and uh, just opposite, it's where you have the herd of uh, ponies with red deer. You can see just lying down in the middle of the shot there. It's really nice to see these animals with young. Uh, there's another little baby foal and an even smaller one there. And uh, me walking through, I'm, I'm going to have to walk through them to get to where I need to go to. Um, and the herd is moving off, unfortunately, I'm disturbing them in that way. But they're not running, they're not bothered. They just, yeah, it looks like they want to keep their distance. There are the deer in the background. Oh, it's so nice to see a herd like this. It really feels like, yeah. They're the closest I've got to seeing a wild horse in Britain. So, after one last clay, claggy field, I'm nearly finished, and I come across the herd of fallow deer. The fallow deer is originally from Italy. It was brought in as part of the, uh, the Deer Park Initiative, which makes up a lot of the British countryside heritage. And they're still in many places today, with clubbed antlers uh, that can be easily told apart from the reds.